We are past the closing bell on Wall Street. Here's how the markets fared on this Tuesday. The Dow down 173, the Nasdaq down about 85, S&P 500 16 points lower at the end of the trading day. And welcome back to TMJ4 News at 4. On Tuesdays, we catch up with business stories with our partners over at the Milwaukee Business Journal. Joining us is this guy, the editor-in-chief, Mark Cass. Um, let's start with the story that kind of dominated yeah. business over the weekend. That was the death of uh, Herb Kohler, who mm -hmm. was not just so important to business, but he brought so many great sporting events yeah. back to the state of Wisconsin. You know, really an icon in the state. He, I mean, I don't use the word kind of legend a lot, but he really was in the state. I mean, he obviously grew the company. It went worldwide, hundreds and hundreds of employees. But then look what he did next. He, he, he opened up hotels, hotels that were that were known around the world. Mm -hmm. And then he went to the, obviously, obviously through the courses. And what he, kind of when you think about this, and kind of, kind of when I've traveled abroad, mm -hmm. you think of Harley. You think of Miller, but you also think of Kohler, yeah. a small town an hour north of here that really nobody knew until Herb kind of had these things up there. And it brought in all these people, and the economic impact has been huge. I mean, just a tremendous loss for this, I mean, I mean, really, I mean, kind of, kind of for the state. But think about what he did and think about what he's meant. Well, and I just think about, I remember being eight months pregnant okay. and walking Whistling Straits yeah. for the PGA Championship in 2004. And I still remember seeing all those people. Right. And that really started a trend of major championships coming to Whistling Straits right. of all places of all in places. the world. Well, I was, I was, I actually was, actually was abroad a year ago, kind of when the Ryder Cup was going on. Sure. And it was huge in Europe. It was all over the place. And you know what it was showing? It was showing this small city yeah. in Wisconsin, but again, in Wisconsin. Great, I mean, great really for us. Just, I mean, just, I mean, think about that. State never looked better than did it. No, it did. It did. I mean, it was, but it was seen throughout the world. And they were, I mean, I'm sure there were a lot of, a lot of, a lot of individuals who flew here and actually stayed in Wisconsin as a result of that. And I remember too, reading your column about Herb Kohler, I was struck by the fact that he didn't know much about golf no. when he got into the golf business. And that kind of says a lot about his kind of can do magnetic right. personality. You know, he told me years and years ago that the reason, I mean, really the reason he did it is because all the guests who were staying at the Marriott Club okay. were asking for it. Yep. So of course you want to respond to your guests, right? Well, look what he, I mean, he obviously responded to them and responded to all of us. I mean, just, just an amazing, an amazing individual, one who I know that you guys knew and I knew, just he was impactful. Okay, our last minute together, a couple other yeah. business headlines, let's hit on them. You sat down with the Molson Coors CEO, uh, Gavin Hattersley, yep. to talk about that business. What did he have to say? You know, really kind of an, an interesting individual who's been there three years, but think of his three years. I mean, he walks in, he's got to re-overhaul the company. Mm -hmm. He's really making more of a liquor company. Then, unfortunately, a few weeks later, they have that tragic shooting. A few weeks after the shooting, they, they, they have everything shut down. Yeah. And then and then like three or four months later, they have a cyber attack that shuts down every one of their breweries throughout the world. I mean, he has had a tremendous things to overcome. He's been able to overcome them by obviously by really kind of looking at their people, looking at their things in terms of improvement. And it's done very well. I mean, just an amazing kind of turnaround against some really tall hurdles. Yeah, certainly so. Mark Cass with the Milwaukee Business Journal. Mark, thanks It's great always. to see you guys in person. It's great to be so here. Nice you guys look great at 4 o'clock. <laughs> Wait, is it 4 a.m. or 4 p.m.? I know you're going to have to double check I your I, watch I think here. It's 4 what time? I think I'm either early or late. <laughs> you're right on time as always. Mark, Mark thanks Cass, so thanks. much. Always good to see you. For more of today's top business stories, go to this guy's website, bizjournals.com slash Milwaukee. We're taking a break and we will be right back.